Hello. Uh, we are going to do a review of grade 11 chemistry. This is going to be probably a three to four part series. Uh, we're going to start with chemistry in laboratory and notice that we have uh, a lot of glassware and uh, stuff here. And uh, these are equipments found in many labs. Uh, graduated cylinder, that's these over here. Uh, glass stoppered flask would be this here. A Erlenmeyer flask, well there's two of them here, and uh, Erlenmeyer flask could be of different sizes. A wash bottle, a burette, well that's this big long thing extending all the way up here. A stirring rod, much shorter, and it's usually made of glass or Pyrex. A thistle tube, a mercury thermometer, and don't break those. And uh, a mercury thermometer is uh, capable of um, doing accurate uh, th uh, temperature measurements uh, above 100 degrees. <coughs> Funnels, uh, that's these over here. Um, a round bottom flask, that's this over here. That's, um, these are used in distillation as well as many other things. A dropping bottle, a dropping bottle would be kind of like this. Also call it a medicine bottle. A petri dish, okay, uh, that has straight sides on it. This is a watch glass. Um, these are beakers, and they come in many sizes, and usually the beakers can fit inside one another. A glass plate, okay, um, an evaporating dish, that's this. These are made of clay uh, with some glaze over it. Um, medicine dropper. So a medicine dropper would be these, fits inside those. Um, a U-tube, that's this object here, um, used in electrolysis and so on. Uh, test tubes, these are test tubes. A crucible, used in gravimetric analysis. A mortar and pestle, uh, used for many, many things, usually crushing uh, solid um, substances into fine powders. And here's some more lab equipment. Here's a ring stand, that's this tall thing here. A burette clamp, that's uh, this over here. A clay triangle, that's this object here. A ring, which is what the cr clay triangle is sitting on. A filter rack, that's this object here uh, for carrying filter paper and drying it. Wire gauze, that's this here, which is sitting on top of a tripod. And um, the tripod um, actually serves the same purpose as this ring stand, uh, or as the ring, um, in that you can just lower it on top of the Bunsen burner, and whatever's sitting on top of the ring can be, uh, can be uh, heated up. And uh, you can certainly put a... a um, um, you can do exactly the same thing over this tripod with a wire gauze. Usually though, if you are putting an Erlenmeyer flask with some water in it and you're trying to boil water, uh, the best thing to do is always use a um, use a wire gauze or something like something like this and what it does is it spreads the heat throughout the glass so that parts of the, so you don't have this problem where parts of the glass expand and some parts don't and what ends up happening is that you shatter the glass and you have broken glass all over your desktop you don't want that so good thing to have the wire gauze that it, uh, it spreads the heat out uh, from the Bunsen burner and the Bunsen burner is this thing here which uh, carries propane and throws a flame and warms things up. A ring stand base. Ring stand base, that's what the Bunsen burner is sitting on. Triangular file. A triangular file is this thing. Okay, it's just like a, like a file. It just uh, smooths things out like, a sand, like sandpaper. A flame spreader is used for spreading out a flame, quite often used in bending glass and so on. Test tube brushes, that's these. Crucible, to uh, sorry, rubber stoppers, that's these here. Uh, crucible tongs, there you go. It's not just for carrying crucibles, it could carry lots of other things that happen to be hot that you don't want to touch. 
and here's a screw clamp used for clamping um, used for clamping rubber hoses and um, basically um, restricting the flow of water or flow of whatever liquid that you happen to have this is a test tube holder over here and it's holding a test tube and that's chemistry in the laboratory i'll be back with more